once you log on to the Entergy EHR, then it should come up to your My Day summary page. From this point, this is what I call my to do page because it will tell me the appointments that are scheduled. It will also tell me um, the appointments that are here. It will say the tasks that I have that I've done. It'll also give me all of the open notes that need to be reviewed and signed off. If your landing page for the My Day summary does not look like this, you will need to go into your preferences and make sure that you have checked to show open notes on your My Day. So while you're waiting on your first patient to be registered, what you can do is you can go and work some My Task. You can work it from either the dark side on this side, or you can work it from this pane. It, there's multiple ways to get to different functions within the system. The other thing that we need you to do is um, go into orders. So if you will remember, back in the day, we used to have a log book of all of the orders that we sent and we kept up with these to make sure that we got those results back and that the, any positives were followed up on. And this is your digital order book. You can toggle by different providers, all of this. Whenever you are the highest level provider of that encounter, so say you are a nurse and you're doing an STD visit in the health unit and you're going to sign off that note, you're using your primary login. All of the orders that are done off your primary login are going to be here. However, if you are working as assisting provider and using that secondary login, then you're going to have to go to that other provider, say if whatever nurse practitioner or physician that you're working with, in order to see those orders to see what needs to come back or view what has come back. Look at this due date. Anything that's over two weeks old will show in red. And so if anything's in red, you'll need to follow up with um, either star limbs, maybe manually pull off the report or um, find where that order was. If the order was not done for whatever reason, then you can right click and you can void that order and say, unable to obtain specimen, whatever, um, lab rejection, whatever you have. On the orders that you have, the next thing you need to do is look for those that have already been resulted. If they've been resulted, then we need to close out those orders to get them off this list. You can toggle by status and say, resulted and that's going to pop up all of these that we need to look through. So you'll look at the um, bottom, you can see the image result, you may have to click on it to see, um, now this is a test patient, it's not going to actually come up with that image, but um, click on the image, make sure it was normal and it was negative and at that point you can go down here at the bottom and close the order or you can double click into it and then you can close it here and hit save. For any of the uh, positive labs, you will want to, of course, uh, follow the positive lab workflow and send this, task this to whoever in your clinic follows up with those positives, sees if they were treated, calls them in, documents, you know, on a non-billable, the conversation, and then once they're treated, you will go ahead and close that order. So <clears throat> going again, you will click on it. You will be able to see the image here at the bottom. You can click on that image and it will come up with the result. Of course, this is a test patient. It's not going to do it. But once you view that image, you verify that it's negative, you can go ahead and close the order here, which is easier just working in the same pane or you can double click it and close the order here and hit save. All right so that is all about orders. You can also see the ones that have been ordered by toggling and then you can say over here on the right the ones that are due only. So all of the ones that are over two weeks will pop up so you don't have to weed through all of them, only the ones that are delinquent.